A, C, B. Below each letter, dots, representing the letter in Braille. American Council of the Blind, together for a bright future. ACB Executive Director, Eric Bridges, with Advisory Board Member, Aaron Patera. Eric Bridges, Executive Director. Hello everyone, it's Eric Bridges back again. And this time pleased to be joined by ACB Advisory Board Member, Aaron Patera. Welcome, Aaron. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's great to have you here. So uh, tell the audience a little bit about what you do in your day-to-day nine-to-five. And it's more well more than nine-to-five, I know, but <laughs> it, for, your, for your job. Aaron Patera, President and Chief Executive Officer, FMP Consulting. Yeah, so um, I'm actually, I'm the CEO of a management consulting firm. We're called FMP Consulting. We're located here in the DC metro area. Um, we, we really specialize in delivering. We really focus on data-driven solutions, evidence-based solutions, but primarily to do with your workforce and then organizational management solutions. So our work really spans a number of different areas, but I'd say when I explain to people what we do, we really focus on helping organizations recruit, select, develop, engage, and retain a high-performing workforce. And then we help them design um, effective organizational cultures, the organizational structures, all the business processes, systems that are needed to uh, meet their their future mission. So that's what we focus on. We work extensively with the federal government as well as state and local governments. And then we work with a lot of nonprofits and associations as well as some private sector clients. Very cool. So that's nine to five. (laughs) (laughs) How long have you been with FMP? I have been with FMP, I think about 18 years. Wow. Yes, I've been there for about 18 years. Prior to that, I worked in the private sector for some larger organizations doing a lot of similar things, human capital work, HR work, organizational development work. Okay. Well, uh, my first interaction with FMP uh, from a, a consulting standpoint was uh, working. Uh, you all uh, got a contract to work with us on our uh, strategic plan in uh, yep. 2016 into 2017. Um, and that was, that was excellent. Um, to, to be able to chart a path forward that, you know, was, was pretty clearly articulated. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about, aside from that, because I, I got to work with a, a number of your colleagues on that mm-hmm. particular project. Uh, how did you come to the ACB Advisory Board? All right. Well, I think, Eric, I've known you for about 10 years now. Yes. Um, as well as your wife, Rebecca, who used to yes. actually work with FMP for a few years. But you're right. I think we, you know, we've worked with you on a few things the organization has, um, in particular, the strategic plan. But I think it was probably around 2018 that you and Dan called me up and asked if I might be interested in volunteering to help ACB um, really try to imagine what an effective advisory board could look like. So, you know, what the goals could be, the types of roles, background, experience that would be helpful to have on an advisory board, how to structure it. So, um, you know, we had an offsite. I think it was a pretty productive offsite. Um, I really jumped at the chance to do it because obviously that's the type of work our organization does. It's the type of work I'd mm-hmm. love to do. But having known ACB over the years, I was really, you know, motivated by by your strategic plan, to be honest. But the vision, the mission, in particular, your core values, all of that speaks to me. So that was motivating to me, and I was excited to help out. So we did that offsite. I think it was, I think it was around 2018. Um, and then subsequent to that, you and Dan called me up and asked if I'd be interested in joining the advisory board. And um, like I said, I jumped at the chance to continue to stay involved. Yeah, you kind of helped us build the boat. Now you're helping us row it. So. <laughs> <laughs> I know I wasn't expecting that at the beginning, but no, I think but, it was that was just such a fun offsite. I got to know the organization a lot better um, when we did that offsite. Um, 
you know, had really dug into some of the things that you all were trying to work on with your one year and three year and five year plans. And again, it was exciting to see if there was ways we could help you through an advisory board. Sure. It's been, it's been tremendous. And uh, just like your other cohorts on the, on the uh, advisory board, you've had the opportunity to interface with various parts of our organization and not just staff, but, but also uh, our leadership and membership. Could you kind of talk a little bit about a couple of the initiatives you've been you've been working with ACB on over the last three years? Yeah. So, yeah, I've got to get involved in a few different projects, but I'd say some of the main ones. I mean, again, I think just kind of leveraging the type of work that I've historically done with clients. I worked with you all to try to define what a future leader structure. Uh, leadership, sorry, structure could look like for ACB. And again, just trying to keep in mind that future. So what are your one, three and five year goals and trying to design what types of positions and roles you might need in order to, to reach those goals. Um, I've been working with you around just kind of reimagining the ACB radio program, as well as just the future of media and communications for ACB. So that included even defining a new communications position, which I think you've since recruited and hired for. So that was very rewarding to be able to work on that. And again, just try to grow the communications and media function at ACB to meet some of your goals. Um, I worked with you all to help kind of scope and get your arms around the get up and get moving campaign, which was exciting, that focus on health and wellness and trying to break down some of those structural barriers and and that have really just been amplified uh, with COVID. So that was an exciting one to kind of dig into and hear what you guys were thinking there. Um, And then more recently, I've been helping you to define sort of what's the current state of IT, what the future state of your IT needs are gonna be for the organization, what are some of those gaps that exist, and then trying to come up with a plan to help close those gaps over the next few years. So. Um, all of that's been a lot of fun. So a, a variety of different projects that I've gotten to get involved with. Yeah, we've, we've been able to, to learn a lot through your facilitation and, and just knowledge in some of these areas. And frankly, on behalf of ACB, I just really appreciate you uh, continuing to, to work with us and be, being willing to, to take on uh, certain initiatives that you may not even know all that much about, <laughs> frankly, but it, given your, your, you know, your rich history in consulting and just understanding how organizations work, having the ability to facilitate some outstanding discussions and help to kind of guide the conversation. Um, you know, it's, it's very much appreciated by us, Aaron. All right. Well, it's been fun. I like I've, I've I've said to you and Dan many times. I'm constantly impressed by ACB as an organization and the talent that you have within the organization. How much you actually get done within the organization just blows me away all the time. So um, yeah, it's been great, and I love facilitating. So actually having those conversations where you're trying to get all the various perspectives out on the table to kind of keep moving you forward is some of the things that I like to do best. So it's been great. Well, awesome, Aaron. Hey, thank you so much for spending some time with us and thank you for, for giving of your time. You're, you're a busy, busy person and we appreciate all the time that you give to us. Thank you. A logo, ACB in print and braille, American Council of the Blind, together for a bright future.